Hey Calvary, welcome to Street Level. I am Justin, and as you can see, I'm in Civic Plaza. Today we're gonna to interview people around the area. It's about lunchtime. We're gonna ask them about taxes because in Matthew chapter 22, Jesus is asked if it is lawful to pay unto Caesar taxes. And he gives them an interesting answer. He says, show me the coin on which the taxes are paid, and they give it to him. And he says, whose image and whose inscription is on that coin? And they say, Caesar. Jesus replies, as we know, give unto Caesar, Caesar that which is Caesar's, and unto God that which is God's. So let's hear what people have to say about paying taxes. So um, what do you think of when you think of paying taxes? Mm. Um, a bunch of things. Yeah. So I'm a lawyer, Name so that's a few. my job. Oh, okay. Um, I think of Jesus saying, um, you know, give to Caesar what is Caesar, give to God what is God's. I also think about, you know, how much waste goes into it and yeah. how many people are hungry and miserable because the taxes are so high that nobody can afford to do anything. Uh, I gotcha. So what do you think about when you think about paying taxes? I mean, shoot, I pay more taxes. I don't really get mom paying taxes. Yeah. Cause I look at it like this. The more taxes I pay, that means I'm making more money. So. <laughs> I'm down with taxes. That's a good way to look at it. Do you pay taxes in the Czech Republic? We do. Yes, you it's do. It's already included in the prices, though. So okay. wherever I go here to pay something, it's just like, oh, OK. I pay more than it's exactly on the price. I see. So uh, when you, that's sales tax. When yes, you pay for exactly. something in the Czech Republic, it's, it's included, the, the tax is included in the price. So what, do you, what, do you, what else do you think of when you think of taxes? Well, I think it's a good thing, though. You give the money for the state, so then they can, I don't know, repair the things. I think it's stressful, you know. It's taking too much out of our pockets, you know. And it, where does it all go? Yeah. It all goes across, you know, overseas and whatnot. So, other than that, you know, I don't see it being used for the United States in, in any in any other way, you know. What do you think about when you think of paying taxes? Public good. Yeah. Yeah. The Pharisees asked Jesus, is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar? And Jesus said, show me the coin that you used to pay taxes. And they, they showed him that. And he said, whose image is that? And they replied, Caesar. And Jesus said, give unto Caesar that which is Caesar, And give unto God that which is God's. So the question for you, Esteban, is what is God's? Everything. Everything. Everything is God's. Okay. God does everything out of love. God owns everything. The whole government system, money, power, everything. So the question for you is, what is God's? What does Jesus mean when he says, give to God that which is God's? What do you think he's talking about? Um, I mean, I don't know, that's deep. That's deep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, that's Caesar's image. Yeah. So. So all of those that you paying taxes with, that's in Caesar's image. Mm -hmm. So what's in God's image? Man is in God's image, right? That's a great point. So I mean, so we have to give up ourselves. So the question for you is, what is God's? What is God's? Yeah, what belongs to God? Everything. Everything. <laughs> yes, everything, so, even us, you know. So when Jesus says, give unto God that which is his, does that mean that we're to give God everything? A percentage, you know, yeah. from what I hear is 10%. Okay, so, so that's, what is that called? Taxes. Taxes? <laughs> or tithe? tithe? Have you heard yeah, of a tithe? Yes. Yeah. So what do, you, what do you think that means to us individually when we think about what we should give to God? What is that? What do, what, what do we do with that? I would say give everything what we can, like, personally. I would not for say... For example? For example, I don't know, if I have joy of something, to share the joy with Him. Okay. Just. Yeah, the normal things, not like give him, I don't know, any money or buildings that you use. Just, yeah, our, to share our personal feelings. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's another hard question because, I mean, if it's all his already, but then you have that sixpence on the richer argument that uh, C.S. Lewis made, which is, you know, it was already his, he gives it to you, you give it back to him, and that's your gift, mm -hmm. like a child. Like a steward, That's kind of the way I look kind of, at it, right? A yeah, steward, it's stewardship. But he's not really getting anything out of it because it was already his.
when you think about paying taxes, how much is too much? Is it ever immoral? Does it ever become wrong to pay taxes? Well, I think there should be some maximum line. What do you think that would be, percentage-wise? I think the 20 is enough. <laughs> 20 percent, yeah. Yeah. I say. 10 to 20, I guess 20, 20 is too much. 20 is too much, okay. 20, I guess 15 is a nice. Is a nice number? Is a nice number. At what point does it become immoral? Like that you would have to say, I can't do this because it's it's immoral. Like if you, if you working for somebody else, like let's say like they taking like 60% of what you making is theirs. It's like, what's going on? Why am I doing this? I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for you. Yeah. How much tax is enough? Well, I don't know. Okay. Uh, you know, how many public services do you do we, we need? Okay. Uh, you know, and where is the tax going? I think if we paid more attention uh, to who is representing us at federal level and state levels mm -hmm. here in New Mexico or in Ohio, and watch what they legislate, I think we'd have a lot lower tax rate. I think a lot of money is wasted based on our ignorance. Yeah. So then the next question is, at what point, or is it does it ever become immoral? To pay taxes. Well, or I don't. Wrong. Well, I don't. You know, I don't think it depends what how you're going to pull that out of context. The thing is, I don't think it's immoral to enjoy the police services. I don't think it's immoral to take advantage of the house if your house is burning down to use the fire services. That doesn't come for free. I take it. I take uh, great delight in looking at a clean street. I feel safe sitting here. That has with, to do with taxes as well. You know, the state interstates driving home. Yeah. You can't. You know, you can't have it both ways. Sure. Do you think there's ever a point at which uh, taxes become immoral? Oh, yeah. And what, what would that be? Well, um, that's the point where they're being used for corrupt purposes, which I think they are. I think that probably 90% of what we pay is being used for nonsense. Mm. But it's a lot. So do you think there's ever a point at which we should stop paying taxes because it's being used for immoral purposes? I think you got a choice. You can pay your taxes and not deal with the hassle of the IRS coming after you, or pay your taxes and deal with a little less stuff and realize that it's being used for a lot of stuff you don't believe in, but you survive. Well, we heard a lot of opinions about taxes. But thank God we don't have to be left with just opinion. Let's get ready, uh, open God's word, and hear what he has to say. Before we do that, why don't you stand up and say hello to one another?